Hello, I'm Dr. Who Jr. and I'm here to show you how you can make your very own question mark handled umbrella like the one Sylvester McCoy used during his run as the seventh doctor. Now the main part of the handle is made out of one inch diameter acrylic rod. You can heat the rod up in your oven very slowly to the point where you can take it out of the oven and bend it easily into any shape you want. But to get a really good shape, you'll need to have a jig, which is basically a fixture that you can use to help shape the rod and, make, and keep that rod in that shape until it cools to the point where it won't try and bend back to its original form. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, this is my jig. To make this jig, you're going to need a board to start off with. This board is, is the bottom shelf from one of my bookcases around the house. You're also going to need two pieces of one inch square wood anywhere from two inches to three inches long. And you're also going to need something that is three inches in diameter but three quarters of an inch or more thick. What I'm using here is a cardboard lid that I had laying around the house. I used my hot glue gun to fill it up so that when the hot glue cooled off and hardened the cardboard lid would be able to handle the stress of having a rod bent around it. Now the square pieces of wood are going to be stops so that this like this top stop here when I'm ready to bend the rod I can slide it in between the stop and the lid and still have both my hands free for bending the rod the rest of the way. Now here I put a line a half inch to the right of the center line. I use this line to help locate this stop. Now, before I go any further, this stop is critical. The corner of this stop, I put an inside radius on it so, uh, to help make the curved part of the handle that will be right here to make it more curved, have a better radius. That would mean uh, less time putting putty in there or JB Weld and sanding it down to give it a proper look of a radius. Now to put that radius in there, I took a scrap piece of one inch rod, wrapped some sandpaper around it. I took the stop, marked which side was the top, and I put both of these on a flat surface. Then I bump the board, the stopper, right up against the rod like this. Now and then I just continually pulled the block towards me across the sandpaper while turning it 90 degrees at the same time. And that's how I made this inside radius. Now once I put the radius in there, I went and sanded off the top part of the block. That way, once I got the, once I located the rod and screwed it down, when it came time to bend the rod, when I got to this point, I could just drop the rod down and not have to worry about messing it up because with the inside radius, there would be a nice lip of wood there that the rod wouldn't be able to fit through between the lid and the stopper. But once I, to get this block properly located, I lined it up on this line and bumped it up against the rod that I had placed between it and the lid and just screwed it down. Now I can just easily, you know, drop the rod and pull it out and there's nothing there to stop me. Before I go any further about how to make the handle, I need to talk to you about the umbrella itself. 
Sylvester McCoy's umbrella was a walking stick umbrella. Walking stick umbrellas are made of a stronger metal. They're less likely to bend in a strong wind compared to the cheap ones we have here in the States. Walking stick umbrellas normally have a long tip on the top of them. Some will have some kind of different uh, softer type of metal, whether brass, aluminum, whatever, on the tip like this. And these are hard to find here in the States. If you're in England, you got a wide variety to choose from. But for us here in the States, your best bet is to go looking for a store up in Canada, preferably online, that carries walking stick umbrellas. Now I found this one online at www.raindropsto.com. This umbrella cost me about 30 bucks. Uh, shipping came about, they had two shipping options. The one I chose was somewhere around 19 bucks. It's a lot cheaper ordering an umbrella from Canada than it would be from England. For starters, I looked into ordering one from a company in England and the cost of the international shipping was more than what I was going to pay for the umbrella. Now, some walking stick umbrellas are cheap. Some are over $100 American. This one here is a cheap automatic umbrella. It's very good quality. Uh, removing the handle is the tricky part. Uh, some handles that are made out of wood are easier to take off than the handles that are made out of plastic. And I'll show you why. All right. Now, when you want to remove the handle, it, I find it easier just to saw off the uh, hook end of the handle itself. And when the handle is made out of plastic, I recommend getting a, having a belt sander handy like this here. What you want to do is turn the belt sander on, and as the belt's moving down, you want to rotate this umbrella handle towards you like this. Doing it that way for a plastic handle, just keep rotating it around, making, making sure you keep an eye on the shaft. Now, most walking stick umbrellas are made out of metal, so as you're turning the handle, you need to Keep an eye out for the shiny shaft. If, you've, if you see a shiny spot of metal, that means you've gone a little too far on that one spot. So you need to try and avoid it and try and remove the rest of the plastic. Once you get enough of the plastic removed, it should be easy to just pop the handle off. Now if your handle is made out of wood, do what I did here. I cut a, a little straight line about halfway through the handle with a hacksaw. I didn't go all the way down to the shaft itself. You don't want to do that. What I do is I take the flathead screwdriver, stick it down into the cut, and slowly try and pry the wood apart. Now, over here, I went down deep enough where I could start peeling the wood off bit by bit, and that's basically what you need to do. Most umbrellas have the use a really strong epoxy glue to attach the handle to the shaft of the umbrella. And that's why you need to be careful and take your time. You don't want to use too much force trying to pull the handle off, otherwise you might bend your umbrella. Uh, 